Monument Party Founding. In Pyongyang, the capital city of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, there stands high the monument to party founding. The imposing monument was built on the occasion of the 50th founding anniversary of the Workers' Party of Korea to tell the coming generations the immortal exploits of President Kim Il-sung in party building. Looking across the river straight at the statue of President Kim Il-sung on the Mansu Hill, it is located in the center of Munsu Street with a plotage of 250,000 odd square meters. The monument is a distinctive representation of the Workers' Party of Korea's emblem designed by the president in the days of the party founding. It clearly shows the jutsu oriented revolutionary character of the Workers' Party of Korea that fights for the interests of the workers, farmers, intellectuals and other popular masses. The three towers in the sweeps of hammer, sickle and brush, firmly held in the hands of a worker, farmer and an intellectual, signify the iron wheel of the Korean people who are ready to share their destiny with the Workers' Party of Korea. The grand circular belt linking the towers symbolizes the single-hearted unity of the leader, the party and the masses in the DPRK. The slogan, Long Live the Workers' Party of Korea, which organizes and guides all the victories of the Korean people, embossed with on the front part of the circular belt, is an eloquent explanation of the thematic contents and ideas the monument bears. The 216 adjoining blocks of the circular belt and its 42-meter inner diameter indicate the date and year of birth of leader Kim Jong-il, that is, February the 16th, 1942. It signifies the Korean people's readiness to be united rock firm behind and loyal to Kim Jong-il, General Secretary of the Workers' Party of Korea. The wide pedestal supporting the towers and the circular belt symbolizes the root of the Workers' Party of Korea. Its 70-meter diameter stands for the period of some seven decades between year of 1926 when President Kim Il-sung formed the Down with Imperialism Union and 1995, the year of the monument inauguration. Inside the circular belt are three bronze group sculptures carved in relief explaining the history of the Workers' Party of Korea. The first sculpture is portrayed against the background of Mount Baekdu. It tells about the formation of the Down with Imperialism Union, the root of the Workers' Party of Korea, and the formation of the Society for Rallying Comrades the first Tsutsu based party organization, as well as the arduous anti-Japanese revolutionary struggle during which the Workers' Party of Korea's organizational and ideological foundations were laid. It also tells about the association for the restoration of the fatherland that united the vast masses including the workers and peasants under the banner of the 10-point programs of the Association for the Restoration of the Fatherland to cast a firm party foundation among the masses. It shows the tradition of the single-hearted unity of the Workers' Party of Korea, headed by President Kim Il-sung. The next sculpture depicts a worker, a farmer, an intellectual, a soldier and a student standing around the party banner. It symbolizes the rock-firm cohesion of the nation around the Workers' Party.
it portrays well the invincibility of the Workers' Party of Korea, supported by the masses and the noble mentality of the Korean people, who have deep trust in the party and are resolved to follow it. The third sculpture is the figurative representation of the Korean people's advance, upholding the torch of Chuche and the motto, Let's defend independence against the world map. It explains about the seasoned leadership of the Workers' Party of Korea in the struggle of the Korean people for socialist construction and independent national reunification. The monument to party founding stands in front of two red flag-like residential buildings built in symmetry, with letters Ever Victorious on top. The beautiful fountain park surrounding the monument serves for recreation of the people. Visitors from abroad say, this is the only monument to a political party. It is a monumental edifice with undying social political significance. The monument to party founding will stand forever as a brilliant tribute to the immortal achievements of President Kim Il-sung in party building and glorious history of the Workers' Party of Korea, handing them down from generation to generation. <laughs>